Unz, unz, unz. We have Pyre, Amenius of Barrix, Gray Tarant, Albrecht Hinlerin, and Ezio Van Kampf. Everyone's currently in Fang's Keep, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Yes. Yep. The capital of Exton. Oh, mm. yes. Uh, it, it is late spring. The year is 1058 E. Uh, we're going to use the Gregorian calendar just to simplify time. Uh, so it's currently April 1st. So it's mid morning when a courier arrives at your various disparate locations. Woo. Uh, it's not the same courier, uh, and delivers to a letter of summons. Uh, you are currently being summoned to uh, the Frower Estate. Where are the Frowers? Uh, Renata Frower is the Lady of the Crown. Born in Fang's Keep, Renata followed the path of the night. After receiving high marks and rewards for service in the Elven Incursion, Renata was appointed uh, Viscountess of Fang's Keep. In this position, Renata made vast improvements to the Queen's security and the safety of the populace of the kingdom. The mortal queen rewarded Renata for her continued excellence by naming her Lady of the Crown, the mortal queen's right hand and personal bodyguard, and made a countess. Uh, she is 54 years old. Ugh. Ugh. We could be married. <laughs> She's she is married. She is married to J. Rudd Hound. The high, uh, the Lord General of the Exton Military. Lord High Inquisitor. I mean, what? Land. Watcher of the military city. <laughs> huh? He's also the uh, like leader. Yeah, he's based. Of the yeah, he's ba city. Yeah, he runs that. That whole city is basically yeah. a military city. Yep. Which uh, is Yep. Uh, so this is one of the NPCs I'm going to actually give the beliefs and instincts for as well. Um, because it's not necessarily an NPC you're going to directly interact with a lot, per se. Depends on how the story goes. Uh, her beliefs are, the sword is to be guided by compassion, not anger. Um, I mean... Sorry, keeping what? the mortal queen safe so she may die a natural death is paramount. Kaji, my warhorse, is part of my family. I'm sure he is. Right. Oh, the rumors I could say. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair, though. We all know where that will's going. <laughs> Instincts. When danger arises, my sword is drawn. When danger arises, I always move to stand in front of the mortal queen. Pull the last strike. Subdue before killing, if possible. Um, she's been in the limelight long enough that these aren't necessarily hard things to know about her and her personality and the way she works and functions. Unlike other, unlike in Exalted, there's not a system for trying to guess people's beliefs and then use and manipulate them. Mm -hmm. there's not, it's not part of the system. You can do that as a character through roleplay, but it's not part of the system. You all have received a letter of summoning to the Frower Estate um, for afternoon uh, tea. It's a matriarchal thing to do. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. I love tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just finally on the roof. Hmm? I don't believe Why you. am I on the roof? How? Why am I on the roof? <laughs> Why am I on the roof? <laughs> Why am I on the roof? <laughs> Actually, one of the... The courier doesn't deliver yours. One of the priests. Uh, like, the courier brought it to the church, and then one of the priests brings it to you. We're like... I'm on the roof again. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a 50-50 if someone actually... I almost fell three times! Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, you could just take the stairs, but I, how did I get up here? <laughs> how am I going to get down? Uh, yours is delivered to where you're staying with the Order, the order of Thoroth uh, Spellworks um, Oh, no, I'm, I'm in Villa. Oh, you own your own Villa? Is it actually in... Thanks, Keep? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it gets delivered to your villa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you yeah. do you live at the college? Yeah. So. Okay. So it gets delivered to the college. Yeah. Uh, do yeah. you you don't have your own estate, so you live at the uh, Knights' uh, building, don't you? Um, I actually got a uh, 
small little cottage. Okay, so you have so is your cottage like on the outskirts of the city? Yeah. Okay. That that's that's where my villa's gonna be. It's not not in the city proper, but okay. outskirts. Uh, yeah. I want land. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dennis, where is your I, where's Amenius? <laughs> languishingly get out of bed naked to take to pluck the message gently from the awestruck courier to then read it as I call over my shoulder. Oh, Renata summoned me. I might see you again. So you're all allowed to show up in whatever order you deem. So who would like to show up first? Never. You can also say if you want to show up with at the same time as somebody else. We'll show up first. All right, so the young knight shows up first. Yeah, he does. <laughs> um, a very young looking, maybe 17, 18 um, young girl uh, dressed in a um, suit of armor, uh, chain mail, has a sword on her side, uh, uh, open, is, is present at the door when it's opened by a young man who is in a kind of butler outfit. And she nods, and she goes, uh, Sir Van Kampf, right this way, please. And she leads you into a small sitting room um, where you are the first person to arrive. And then she goes, please just wait here for the rest of the arrive. Okay. Uh, and she walks back out. Uh, the butler will serve you, uh, serves you tea, and, and that before dismissing himself out of the room. Who shows up second? Uh, I can. Okay. I will appear haggard and like overworked because it's a trait, uh, and with a book and some supplies. Okay. Ah, Master Sorcerer. Right this way. Uh, you enter into the room and you see a young knight sitting there that you have met once before when a rock you were chasing tripped him. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Nice to see you in less fantastical situation. Sure. Charlie Chapman music playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> the one that caught that rock. It was very interesting. What was it probably? College business. Show up with my horse. Alright. Um, the butler will take your horse to the stables. Uh, on on site on the estate stables. Um, now fuck it. It takes it to the stables at the end down the street. No. <laughs> fuck your horse. Where do you go? Let's it walks out to the gate. Just lets it go. Gives it a slap on the ass. <laughs> Bye horse. <laughs> stables your horse in the estate stables. Um, and the uh, young warrior uh, takes you into the sitting room where you see a mage. You see Albrecht. I'm you're the person you're on. buying to be the next headmaster. Yeah. yeah. I'm furiously working on stuff now. I mess with them a little bit. So what are you working on? Is that someone's taxes? <laughs> like, I have three different <laughs> work. <laughs> you, when you actually take time to look at it, I have three different jobs. Essentially, yeah. that you see, like, the, here's an actual <laughs> record of taxes that someone's given me. Uh, not mine, even. <laughs> uh, here's, like, a library reference for inventory, and here's something I'm actually mystical working on, like, magic. So, so I'm working on multitasking. A half, a half. Formulated spell yeah. formula. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read. Question marks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Fine. All right. Ah, young exorcist. Right this way, please. I believe uh, the master sorcerer has already arrived. I believe the two of you have worked together many times. And you see Albrecht in the sitting room. Oh right. Along with two knights that you have previously encountered. Oh, the rock. <laughs> One of them is because of the rock. 
Let's see, what was the reason you first met Greg's character? Uh, because you did an exorcism job for Gray, which turned out to be extremely hard. That's, oh god, that's when that the demon the, followed me for two days. That was the one with the wor uh, the demon called Worm Tongue. Yeah. Sometimes. Hello. Good to see you again. How's, uh, how's the house? Ah, good. Pretty. <laughs> Amenius of Varix. Right this way, please. Thank you. What is your name? Uh, it's a young no, exactly. lawyer lady, uh, looks about 18, uh, you do not know her name. Huh! Ha 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 Excuse me, you say? <laughs> I don't believe I've had the pleasure of thanking you. I am Sabrina Flower. Flower. Sabrina. I love my name. Thank you. <laughs> and you, as we're walking along, are you new to the household? No, I arrived 18 years ago. Oh. oh. She opens the door to the city. Is anybody room. else here? <laughs> <laughs> and a giggling Amenius steps in. <laughs> oh, I'm not shocked at all. So, go ahead and describe what your characters look like, Jeff. Uh, I actually have a picture. Uh, I'm a... I'm working on a picture, so fuck you, sir. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so sassy. I'm a uh, brown-haired, uh, not that young looking, but not old by any means. You look like a young person who yeah. has aged poorly. Yeah. So kind of <laughs> reminiscent <laughs> of real life. Uh, all that. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 I think still got um, I, do, you. I do have oh, well. the look of, like I have, was Nobleborn, but I do look heavier than overworked. Uh, Bags under the eyes. Yeah. Unkempt, but not dirty, more like just well-worn. Washes regularly, but never brushes the hair after the wash. Yeah. No time I don't have shit. time! <laughs> is way too wide. <laughs> Four feet wide, less than one foot thick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, kind of. I'm like, no, no, that looks weird. <laughs> uh, sharp figure, but I am actually clean shaven, so I did take fun for that. And your dress? Uh, not too expensive, but not uh, inexpensive, so common material, uh, mage-ish looking robes in a shirt and pants form, so. Albert, do you know where you are? Prior State. Well, that's an improvement for sure. not ready. You don't get to see him yet. He won't be up on the Obsidian portal until like the last game session. <laughs> that's how I rolled. That's, yeah, yeah it's not the last game one. Yeah. 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 Back when I was still tracing faces. <laughs> faces is hard, you. Um. Shoulder length. Wavy hair. Golden brown. Like rich. Uh, brownish eyes. Very light brown, a bit more of a chestnut or a hazel, except not so much green. So you excite all the bears? I excite all of the bears. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> Love you. I hate you. We shall say he is actually classically proportioned. So, in the way of Christian statues. 
<laughs> uh, however, he does have very soft features. Uh, not in the sense of, like, pudginess on the face. But the, the lines of the nose are very delicate. Um, the, all, of, all of really where there are connection tissues are all very smooth and delicate. So the lips just kind of delicately gradiate into the face. And the nose just kind of delicately perks the very end. And then the chin is just this delicate thing on his face. You might call it a weak chin. <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> is that a glass jaw? <laughs> no. Oh. I pity your will is so fragile, though. What? <laughs> your living will? <laughs> I have another copy. <laughs> I'm just gonna lock the door now. <laughs> so what is our spell lord up here as? Prince. <laughs> Prince of the Spell Lords. Um, Prince of the Kingdom. Isn't he like the only one? Which, only for the one. viewers at home, because uh, I'm not sure how much of the character creation process is actually going to make it into the punch cut. Yeah. Uh, Prince of the Kingdom. This is a matrilineal matriarchy. Uh, so, princess is the only actual term in the actual royal family. Uh, a prince is used for either gender as an honorific title given to somebody who has done something amazing or heroic for the kingdom. Is a title of recognition. Yes, Jeff. We forgot to go over fate and Arthur and that, didn't we? <sighs> Fuck, we did. Fine. But, uh, shut up. We totally did. <laughs> shut up, Jeff. <laughs> it's because I realized that we should probably vote and make sure he starts with a deed. Well, everybody's going to start with, so... Indeed. Oh, oh, yeah, we haven't even... Like, yeah, we haven't gone over that. On the back, you have Artha, and you have three types of Artha. Fate, Persona, and Deeds. Everyone starts out with three, two, and one. Can you pick one? Yes. And then you have a spot down below to keep track of the name of the skill that you've spent Artha on. Because if you spend enough fate, persona, and deeds on one single skill, it goes up a shade. Or stat. Or stat. Mm. So I get three, two, one, right? Where three, two, and one go? No, it's oh. three fate, two persona, one deed. Okay. You don't get to pick them. That's where they got. You. Okay. Mm. That's where all the uh, one. FP and. D. Yeah, that's D. anywhere you see F, P, and D, that's what it's referring to. Fate, Persona, and Deeds. Okay. Okay. So three, two, and one, you said? Yeah. They're, uh, the easy solution to explain them, they're kind of like hero points in other games. Okay. Or fate points. Oh, wait, one of them is fate points. There you oh. go, buddy. Um, I mean, this is, of course, wearing... Perfectly presentable clothing, which in this case happens to be uh, rapey, flowing things embroidered with royal symbols. What does the spell word look like? Um, old fuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> so old. Um, <laughs> he has. Um, medium length hair, um, golden. <laughs> My hair is um, shivering, it's fine. Just oh. having a sterile. <laughs> like a... Hmm. It's also golden brown, but lighter. It's uh, more golden than anything here. Um, graying. Just in the right spots. With a beard. Um, also graying. Salt and pepper. It's important. Uh, yeah, salt pepper. How big is yeah. your beard? Um, it's not that big. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be a good hand dress. <laughs> um, he's tall and lithe. Um, wears immaculate clothing. Um, that never have a speck of dust on them. 
<laughs> Servants are for. I'm gonna go swim in some mud. <laughs> I see you two have the magic weapon. Half. <laughs> Amazing at that. Mm. Also, great. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have my dick. Thank you. Everybody has your dick. Okay. Uh, great. I actually didn't ask you for your affiliations. What is your affiliations? Oh, okay. Um, Three dice. Yes. For Order of Thoroth. For affiliation. Yes, three three dice for Order of Thoroth. Then you have Reputation. Uh, three dice for Kingdom of Exton. Because it encompasses a nation. Uh, and I think the king, kingdom. Three dice is a reputation for what? The, As prince. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Oh uh, prince of the the spell lords yeah. And do you have any relations? No. Okay, go ahead and roll me three dice for your affiliation with the Order of Thoroth, real quick. Okay. What? Uh, do I count the total or little stuff. successes? Because I added one. Successes. Successes. Okay. Five points. The bottom three. Two. Two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sabrina. Um, Sabrina is actually a squire of the Order of Thoroth. Oh, ooh. With her. <laughs> well, if you get there first. Uh, she's recently got. <laughs> she's recently entered being a squire okay. instead of a page. Okay. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Kyle. Okay. Hold on. Kyle, what did you add that I didn't have? Okay, you had a one die. Three. Okay, so one die affiliation. Affiliation with, with the order. The, the night order. order. Okay. Yeah. So you one three dice. Affiliation with it? One no, dice. One. Oh, I was like, one yeah. die affiliation with Knights of Exton. Damn, damn. So so that's his reputation. Because you're not. Norse was not half the resources. Well, I forgot yeah. the. What was the name of the order of Knights? That would have been like my own thing. Uh, order of the yes. I mean, I'm really old because of that. It's kind of took a hit. I want to say it was uh, the Wandering Fools or something. I'm nearly like 20 years older than you. And you. Okay. I know what it means. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and was that the only thing you added? You were losing your virginity. Um, and then. Mom. <laughs> My relationship. I mean, you'll have to be a little bit Parents? Yeah. Say, so if you die, it's, A relationship die. is with an individual. Yeah, uh, very curious. Father? Mother? Oh. Uh, father. Father, close family relationship. Oh, minor, dangerous. So your father will. That basically means your father will show up in the story. <laughs> yeah, he will. I mean, Sorry, what? Uh, what does pyre appear to look like? Pyre is well, was blonde. It's very faded and kind of going this off-white color. Much like the rest of them. Skin is kind of an ashen white now. Okay. You've met all these people before, but. The. Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Uh huh. Punishment for myself. I just, I feel. You say don't worry, and I don't believe you. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call them. I I know about that instinct. If it's if it's a bit NPC and you're not, it, it it's yeah. not relevant necessarily. Like that was just someone to show you to the sitting room at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just no doors. Um, definitely horrible human being. I'm so sorry. God. So I will distract you. myself with ice in the mouth. Will you verbalize? Verbalizing your is visage. Very clean shaven. Why do I look at you? I can't look at you. It's the worst. It's the worst. Oh, very clean shaven. Somewhat of a willowy figure. Very compact. You would almost say wasp waist, but not quite. Also, does not look like he sleeps very much. 
whether of his own accord is up to debate. I'd say here is about chin line. And correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't quite know the terminology. Wears something similar to what a mons monsignor would wear, with the high collar, and it effectively looks like a dress. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monsignor is, I think, the least strength in the church that wears that. It is in this world. It is the typical garb of an exorcist. <clears throat> and what does the knight look like? Are you wearing? Is the spellboard wearing his armor, or just? I don't have armor per se. <laughs> uh, it's it's the. Oh, you use the you use the form for it. What do you mean? The defensive form? Yeah. Uh, that's always on. Yeah, but. Um, always. But... Well, not always. You know. Uh, it's. He has enchanted armor, but it's not currently on. Okay. Yeah. So he's just wearing his clothes. Right. Okay. Right. Are you wearing your armor right now? No. Okay, so you're just in noble attire. Yeah, noble attire with uh, a new sword strapped to my side. Of course. Uh, I always have two swords. Kind of uh, blondish hair, um, just stubble and whatnot on his face, but clean looking. And then, yeah, uh, kind of tanned. In appearance from being out in the sun for days on weeks. <laughs> Cause wandering night! <laughs> yeah. Yep. At least you could tell. Alright, where are we at right now? The Frower Estate. The Fra Fra yeah, Frower Estate in, um, in okay. King's uh, Fangs Keep. Okay. Uh, it is towards the center of the city, relatively... It's The Frower Estate sits basically halfway between Kinsform University and the actual Royal Palace. Okay. And, and by that, I mean there's nothing in between Frower Estate and the Palace or the University. It is the property that sits between those two things. Oh, shit. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, well, Fire, Ezio, Lord Grey, I trust all of you have had a delightful morning. Yep, so far. Come from Farfield, have we? A little. I trust the roads are fair. Yeah. I was actually staying at my cottage last night. Oh. Which was the first in a few weeks. The one in town? Uh, just on the outskirts. Speaking of, how is your father doing? Speaking of homes. Uh, he's doing okay. Good. Good. Your mother I haven't, still. I haven't talked to him in a couple weeks, but stuff can change. That's life. It's hard when you're on the road. Sending letters everywhere. Unless you happen to have ink for blood, will you... Or are you just going to keep going through the meeting? Of course not. I just... This isn't the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> You're going of course not. Going. And when she bursts into the room unexpectedly, you're going to scramble to put everything together. Why not put the taxes aside? I'm actually finishing up. I just put... <laughs> Kind of At like least. Looking like, I know my time management skills. <laughs> <laughs> I have mastered this. Uh, the door opens and, and the butler comes in with a card and looks kind of weird that you stood. Yeah, I'm putting my stuff away. So. And kind of rolls up and like sets down like plates of like garnishes and snacks and, and that. And Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Close to the door behind him. Higher, right? How are things? How are your things? I believe still in bed. Not all six of them. I don't take six with me everywhere. Mm. Well, it seems to be a variable calm the line. I mean, just because the clothes are busy doesn't necessarily mean that I have to be. 
Especially not these days. More interesting things. But. Even the word interesting should cause worry. Nonsense. After all, I have only the best interests of the kingdom. Lest the prince would not withstand my presence. Mm -hmm. How are things chasing rocks? Well, we dealt with that. <laughs> oh, right, that did happen. That wasn't a dream. Was that just a one time thing? Yes. Particular incident, yes. Although the village has had other reports, so I'm thinking there might be someone there. That was a mean rock. They were inert mostly, so I mean, they're there. Does that have something? It just seems that you can find something a little more suitable than just a rock. Well, perfect for rolling. The thing is, is, we can't exactly go around drawing circles around every single rock. <laughs> well, that was a rock that probably could. Extremely suspicious. <laughs> no, you could. I mean, certainly within the boundaries of that field, you could turn it into an art exhibition. Maybe a tourist attraction? I'm certainly <laughs> into For a little science In art. fact, they might like it so much, you could probably convince them to pay for it. There we go. Speak it for the Rolling Stones. <laughs> oh, God. That's why I don't sit next to him. <laughs> I have no forks home, just forked butts. <clears throat> The door opens, and you see a rugged elderly lady of uh, 54 years old. Uh, she has light brown hair with streaks of gray throughout it, pulled back into a tight bun. Um, she is wearing a uh, noble gown, um, and across her shoulders is draped a... Uh, cape lined with the fur of a dire wolf and on the left right shoulder um, is a single pauldron created from the dire wolf's skull um, it is kind of the identifying article of clothing for renata frower as uh, she actually killed that dire wolf in the incursion hmm. I and doesn't matter. <laughs> Would the two of you like to? This is the two of you. This is the first time for everybody except for the prince to actually be in the direct yeah. presence and interaction with Renata Frower. Uh, you've had like maybe like two or three times that you've talked with her, um, either at a various once at a various party, once for a meeting about safety, and she headed that up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like there was a, a, a huge festival that they threw to celebrate something, and so they called the order of the Thorothian knights and other knights and city guard in for a meeting, and discussed keeping how to how to keep the city safe while allowing the festivities to be fun and comfortable for the city. Okay. Um, what would be a uh, be those of us who have order and Jeff, Pyre and. Uh, Albrecht are going to roll their aura beat. Uh, How deep, eh? Maybe you're not at you, but huh? it's just there too. Yep. So what is your what does it say for uh, aura beat? Mm. Aura wise. Or a reading. Aura reading. Oh, okay. Mm. What do you mean as far as what? On your, your, skill. your skill that says aura reading is the skill? Yeah. What does it say for black what? What's the exponent? I don't think, oh, the final exponent? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's what I mean. Uh, five. Five. So you're going to roll five dice. Okay. A four, five, and six is a success. One, twos, and threes are traitors. We don't talk to it's them. It's in the book. I... They're literally one, twos, and, like, if it's not a success, it is, it is a traitor. Okay. I, I don't I don't disagree yeah. with that logic. <laughs> Which is why I have enough dice that I can take every dice that is a traitor and remove it from my pool. Nope. No more. Yeah, I got those too. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and roll your your five dice and you're rolling three. Three. Four, five, and six. 
How many did you get? Three and two. Yeah. So both of you got the obstacle one, which is the, the subject is alive and is from this plane. What? Yes. No way. <laughs> Good to know. Reading an aura trait, uh, let me see if she has any aura traits, is obstacle two. Uh, um, I will say this one, this regal bearing shows through in the aura. For sure. <sighs> uh, but other than that, she doesn't have any aura traits. Um, usually that would be like aura of fear, aura of good, aura of... Uh, okay. There's a bunch of traits for that. Uh, aura of sexy. I'm sorry, that's also obstacle one. Uh, reading mood. Reading mood is obstacle two, and her current mood is calm yet concerned. Uh, yeah, that's never, yeah, that's never fucking good. Uh, obstacle three is seeing character traits, which she has callous, mark of privilege, pompous, sharp dresser. Hmm. Sharp dresser, it's important. It's important. <laughs> and noblesse oblige. I forget what that does, but I have it. Yeah. yeah. I think actually I think that one's a call on trait. Call on trait? Oh okay. Okay. So I bowed and said, Lady Renata, you're looking lively as always. Until the day I look dead. Well let's pray that's not soon. I'll simply bow without speaking. So she kind of Passes her gaze over everybody. Nods. Prince, please have a seat. And you, after uh, she I wait for her to sit. Yeah. And she she does take a seat. You get a fourth belief, but it has to be from this list. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the noblesse oblige. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. Was it a character trait or a call on trait? By trait. Okay. Oh. Uh, so she sits down. Um, and the butler follows her back in and, and at this point pours a fresh cup of tea for everybody um, and she goes I would like to thank you all for coming on such short notice I have I have a job for you and I cannot very well, through the bureaucracy of our kingdom, send you on a job without you being accompanied by a magus of the college. And I would be unwise. I was gonna think it, but not to eat. <laughs> I would be unwise to send the two of you into this situation without protection. And somebody to guide you in the local affairs of barracks. There is a spirit or demon. I'm actually taking notes now. Or entity we need investigated that is currently residing in and around barracks. Not saying it's huge, I'm saying it moves around the general area of barracks. Quite a bit. Uh, we have not been able to ascertain its direct domicile or if it has one even. Uh, basically, your typical job go forth, investigate the spirit, research the spirit, find out what the spirit wants, and deal with the spirit appropriately to the safety of the kingdom and its populace. What's the proper um, form of address? Title and form of address. Thank you. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Am I she's, she's 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 she's, 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 she's the right hand of the sorry. She's the right hand of the Queen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like if the Queen suddenly dies, she's re reagent. Uh -huh. Regent. Oh, Regent. Regent. No, she's a reagent to summon the next Queen. Oh shit. <laughs> 
I know not of what you speak. <laughs> it's a shite job. Chemical composition. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? What? Tom? <laughs> Why is why is the couch empty next to Gregor? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like it's gone. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> it's too early in the game to fuck this shit I'm out. But <laughs> do you have any questions, any of you, for me? I'm grooming with several. Only two of which are actually appropriate. Well, perhaps we should begin by sipping out those two. First off, actually, I suggest the, I suppose the one isn't so much a question as a gracious thanks to be included in such august personages as the Prince of the Blood and. Not Prince of the Blood. Sorry, as a Prince of the Spell Swords. Sorry. <laughs> right. I'm an upgraded! Come look at me! Ten points for house! What? Two more like, uh, gotta be right! <laughs> to be included as an August person as a prince of the spell swords and the headmaster of the college. I'm just a master sorcerer. Master sorcerer. You're not headmaster yet. Hmm. How strange. He has the. Position of being the most likely next headmaster. Oh yes, not final decisions, etc., etc., etc. I see. Thank you all for the faith in me. Faith. <laughs> of course, yes, he needs exactly. to find himself a seat on the council first. Oh. Seems he's a little busy for that. <laughs> the council's not busy too. <laughs> <laughs> Get back up any further! <laughs> if you would like to continue your bra prattling of flowery words, we can relocate to a court. No, I'm done. Then I think second. everyone has summed it up quite nicely. No, I'm done. Everything is clear now. Okay. Yes. Does anybody else have any other questions? You mentioned a situation. Is there something else going on in the in Varics that we are unaware of at present? Other than the spirit? Is that what is worried you? There's always something going on or in Or is it been supposed that the strength of the spirit is much greater than normal missions? Well, Varics, our city of rivers, Lady of Bridges, uh, who rules there, has been making reports of numerous artisans and merchants and crafters around the city where materials have been mysteriously vanishing. Mm. At first they were looking for a thief or a group of thieves working out of barracks until multiple merchants and artisans begin saying these materials vanishing before their very eyes into thin air. Hmm. So whatever this entity is doing, it's collecting quite the amount of materials or possibly components. Or decor. Or decor. <laughs> or a hoard. I mean, decor and hoard would be the better of the options. If it's collecting components, then it's working up to perform some kind of working. I do not think I need to express the brevity of that situation if it is discovered to be the purpose. Is this the only time it's been reported happening, or has this happened beforehand? This has not happened beforehand. This is the first time of such an accounting. Uh, but it has been going on for the last month. So Only recent, in the recent uh, week and a half, almost a fortnight, has it been confirmed that it's the work of a spirit 
one entity. There have no been there have not been any search parties before, or or scouting. There there were. They were searching for thieves. Of course, they found none mm. because it was not the work of thieves. I mean, before after it was discovered that it was not mortal. That's why you're here. other signs aside from things disappear? They have been after scrutinizing uh, after the artisans saw the materials disappear in front of them they then sent in some of the local hedge wizards and such to investigate to make sure it wasn't magic just being used to do this and they found signs and symbols and evidence of spiritual activity, which thus brings us to this point now. Has anybody been hurt yet? Not yet. That we know of. Not close. We'll have to look into missing people when we get to bed. My answers will be there. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course, I will give you per diem. Mm -hmm. And she kind of like goes like this, and you see her daughter come back into the room, and she has a, a, a fairly large coin purse <coughs> that she sets down on the table, and you'll hear it clink with coin. Uh, for room and board, uh, and upon the completion, there will be a reward for payment for services rendered. Uh, you may choose to accept this to yourself or to the church as per usual, or to yourself and the college as per usual, or the order of night, respectively, or yourself. <coughs> 